Under the careful watch of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, an incredible creation is coming to life. It's a special aircraft that's the result of some really amazing innovation. This remarkable aircraft, called the X-65, is the latest in a long line of experimental planes. But what's truly groundbreaking is that the X-65 is saying goodbye to the old ways of controlling planes. In the past, traditional control surfaces limited how well planes could fly. But the X-65 is changing all of that. Instead of using those old-fashioned control surfaces, it's going to be controlled in a new and exciting way. The X-65 will use something called active flow control, rather than the usual moving parts on the outside of the aircraft. This means it will do things like execute maneuvers using compressed air nozzles. This might sound like something out of a science fiction story, but it's real, and it's going to change aviation and how planes fly. This new approach to aviation has some incredible benefits. It's expected to make planes much harder to detect on radar, more agile, and way more efficient when they're flying. It's not just drones that will benefit from this technology. Even fighter aircraft and commercial passenger planes can become better and more environmentally friendly thanks to the X-65. In 2023, a big player in the aviation industry has taken on the task of bringing this amazing piece of engineering to life. DARPA's X-Designated Drone DARPA, well known for its groundbreaking exploration of advanced technologies on behalf of the Pentagon, recently introduced a revolutionary drone technology demonstrator. This pioneering project was designed to assess the capabilities of Active Flow Control Systems, abbreviated as AFC. These systems hold the promise of improving fuel efficiency and reducing radar signatures accomplished by facilitating a more streamlined and aerodynamic aircraft configuration. The experimental nature of this uncrewed marvel became apparent as it departed from the conventional flight controls that had long governed aerodynamic design. In lieu of traditional exterior moving flight controls, like hinged flaps, rudders, ailerons, elevators, and spoilers. The aircraft employed compressed air nozzles to execute awe-inspiring maneuvers. These control surfaces, while effective throughout aviation history, brought along the burdens of added weight and intricate complexities. Capturing the imagination of aviation enthusiasts and experts alike, DARPA eagerly took to its social media platforms to announce the coveted X designation bestowed upon this cutting-edge creation. This significant milestone arrived just under five months after DARPA's selection of Aurora Flight Sciences, a subsidiary of Boeing, to embark on the detailed design phase of the control of revolutionary aircraft with Novel Effectors Program, also known as CRANE. The technology demonstrator unveiled by DARPA marks a significant shift in the field of aviation, pushing the boundaries of what is possible with innovative active flow control systems. These systems hold the potential to reshape the way aircraft are designed and operated, with a focus on fuel efficiency and stealth. By eliminating traditional flight controls, the project demonstrates the agency's commitment to pushing the boundaries of technology and exploring new frontiers in aviation. As this groundbreaking project unfolds, it is expected to have far-reaching implications for the future of aviation and military technology. With the X designation, it is clear that DARPA recognizes the immense potential of this innovative approach to aircraft design and control. This achievement represents a testament to the spirit of innovation and exploration that drives DARPA and its partners to continuously advance the frontiers of technology and engineering. Supersonic Ambitions 
DARPA's strategic selection of Aurora Flight Sciences marked a pivotal milestone in advancing the crane program, which is geared towards creating an aircraft capable of operation without conventional moving flight controls on its wings and tail. Aurora successfully completed the initial phase of this ambitious undertaking, which primarily involved the design and construction of a testbed aircraft that harnessed active flow control, AFC, within the controlled environment of a wind tunnel. During phase one, a scaled-down version of the X-65 prototype was subjected to wind tunnel testing. This phase featured the deployment of compressed air blasting and suctioning nozzle arrays on the upper surface of the wings to explore the nuances of AFC technology. The subsequent phase, phase two, is laser focused on the real world testing of this technology at scales and Mach numbers relevant to mission requirements. Beyond the assessment of supersonic flight capabilities, Phase 2 prioritizes the intricate work of designing and developing flight software and controls, ultimately leading to a critical design review of an X-plane demonstrator. Notably, the contract encompasses a Phase 3 option, where DARPA has ambitious plans to conduct test flights of a 7,000-pound X-plane. This phase is a pivotal step towards addressing the primary technical challenges associated with incorporating AFC into a full-scale aircraft and relying on it for controlled flight. The Demonstrator aircraft is set to feature modular wing configurations, enabling the seamless integration of advanced technologies for future flight testing. Aurora Flight Sciences, the driving force behind this innovative project, expresses unwavering confidence in their ability to complete the design and flight testing of the AFC-based demonstration aircraft. They envision it as a national test asset with applications extending beyond the confines of the crane program. It is essential to bear in mind, though, that the current aircraft under construction is projected to attain a maximum speed of Mach 0.7, equivalent to a modest 537 miles per hour. With testing of this groundbreaking aircraft not slated until 2025, it is evident that this endeavor demands a meticulous and comprehensive approach, underscoring the complexity of the project and its pioneering nature. A Revolution in Aviation DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, recently made waves in the aviation world by unveiling remarkable art concepts for the X-65, an experimental aircraft. What's particularly intriguing is that many commentators have pointed out that, when viewed from the front, this aircraft bears a striking resemblance to the fictional X-Wing Starfighter from the iconic Star Wars franchise. This uncanny resemblance can be attributed to the canted double wings of the X-65. However, it's worth noting that this similarity becomes less apparent when viewed from other angles. Some enthusiasts have even speculated that the designation X-65 might be a subtle nod to the T-65 model of the X-Wing in Star Wars lore, further fueling the excitement surrounding this project. One of the most revolutionary aspects of the X-65 is its Active Flow Control AFC, system. Unlike traditional aircraft, this innovative system promises to enhance maneuverability and control by eliminating the need for traditional jointed surfaces. This forward-looking design not only has the potential to significantly improve flight performance but also reduce operational costs and wear and tear. Furthermore, the AFC system could theoretically bolster the aircraft's stealth capabilities, making it even more intriguing for military applications. The advantages of the AFC system are manifold. By eliminating the need for moving control surfaces, it reduces drag and, in turn, enhances flight performance, particularly at high angles of attack. Based on available images, it appears that the X-65 will be powered by a single jet engine with an intake located under the belly. Additionally, there seems to be an upper fuselage intake and exhaust potentially utilized to generate compressed air for use in the 14 nozzle bags, 
positioned around the airframe. On the flip side, DARPA has placed a strong emphasis on the X-65's modular wing configurations. This aircraft is designed to enable the integration of advanced technologies during future flight testing. Its highly modular nature allows for the swapping of different wings with varying degrees of sweep and different types of AFC effectuators, including those developed by other companies. This adaptability positions the X-65 as a platform for innovation and experimentation. Stealth in the Modern Era Active Flow Control AFC, is a cutting-edge technique employed in aircraft to intricately manipulate the airflow and significantly enhance performance. Unlike passive features such as vortex generators, which permanently affect airflow, AFC employs nozzles to release jets that dynamically alter the pressure of the boundary air surrounding the aircraft. This approach is a game-changer in aerospace technology and holds immense promise for revolutionizing the way aircraft are designed and operated. In the realm of manipulating airflow, AFC is not the only avenue being explored. Researchers are delving into other methods like plasma effectors to achieve similar objectives. The primary goal of AFC is to eliminate surfaces on the aircraft that cause drag, which in turn boosts its radar signature. This is particularly vital for military aircraft, including drones operating in contested airspace monitored by advanced radar-guided missile defenses. Traditional aircraft like the B-2 stealth bombers address these challenges through complex flight control systems that manipulate flaps for stability and turning. They often resort to discarding the tail fin and rudder control surfaces to minimize the radar cross-section. However, even with these reductions, there are still some movements that increase the radar cross-section, making these aircraft potentially vulnerable. AFC presents an exciting prospect by potentially rendering these vulnerabilities unnecessary in future aircraft, making them more adaptable and resilient in modern combat scenarios. Furthermore, the advantages of reducing drag extend beyond military applications. Civilian aircraft operators stand to benefit significantly from improved fuel efficiency and extended range. Enhanced fuel efficiency is a highly desirable outcome for airlines, allowing them to reduce pollution and realize a substantial fuel cost savings. Even a slight increase in fuel efficiency can have a profound impact on the economics and environmental footprint of commercial aviation. Similarly, military aircraft, including jets, drones, and missiles, can travel farther with the same fuel load, increasing their operational effectiveness. As AFC technology advances, nozzle arrays are expected to become lighter, less complex, and more fuel-efficient than traditional moving control surfaces. This is a clear indication of the potential for AFC to become the industry standard paving the way for aircraft that are more efficient, stealthy, and capable of meeting the diverse and ever-evolving demands of the aviation world. NATO's AFC Breakthrough The year 2018 marked a significant turning point in the assessment of active flow control, AFC technology, especially within the context of NATO. During NATO's tests that year, Drones equipped with AFC systems responded with a level of agility that exceeded initial expectations. This impressive performance showcased the potential of AFC-equipped drones to offer not only high maneuverability, but also the capability to maintain a low weight, low complexity, and a reduced radar cross-section. This combination of attributes is particularly appealing for a range of aircraft, including cutting-edge jet fighters. The remarkable progress in AFC technology has opened up exciting possibilities for the aviation industry. Initiatives like Project Crane are diligently working to make AFC technology more affordable and practical for widespread adoption. The program's manager, Richard Lision, has emphasized the potential benefits that AFC technology, exemplified by the X-65, could bring to a variety of other airflow control experiments. 
Hypothetically, this could encompass collaborative efforts with entities like BAE Systems, known for their innovative technologies, such as the Magma Drone. 